in today's Rainbow Six Siege video, we will be taking a look at Nook in Rainbow Six Siege. Nook is a stealth operator just like Vigil, but on the attacking side. Today, we are just going to take a look at her gadgets and weaponry, and I will also show you guys some gameplay to help you understand Nook in Rainbow Six Siege. So going over Nook, we're going to really talk about her gadgets and weaponry. So for the first weapon we have is the FMG-9. This here is a 9mm close to mid-range submachine gun with moderate recoil and high fire rate. I personally take this as my personal primary for Nook. I mean, the shotgun is okay, or it's still good because shotguns got buffed again. But I personally just take the submachine gun in my own personal preference. But it's up to your preference if you want to take the submachine gun. It's pretty good. The damage for it is 34 and the fire rate is 800 and the mobility is 50 and the capacity of it is 30. Overall, this is a pretty good weapon. Uh, if you want to use it, it's up to you, honestly. The next primary we have is the SIX-12 SD. This compact 12 gauge shotgun runs off of a six round drum, includes an integrated suppressor for stealth. So this makes Nook more into a stealth operator, which she really is. I mean, this is what she's supposed to be. It's more of a stealth kind of operator that moves in the enemy lines and all, or behind enemy lines, and it just kills them. The damage for it is 46, and the fire rate, no fire rate at all, and the mobility for it is 50, and the capacity, it has 6 rounds. So you want to just be wise with this weapon, but it's mainly used for stealth if you're playing stealth Nook and all. For the first secondary, we have the 5.7 USG. This is a semi-automatic pistol with low caliber, high velocity rounds used by the FBI SWAT. We've already been over this. Uh, it's not that bad. It's not a bad choice for Nook, but I would have gone with something else. The damage for it is 42. Fire rate, no fire rate at all. Mobility is 45, and the capacity for it is 20, as always. For the next secondary, we have the D50. Now, this is a .50 caliber pistol, short to medium range handgun with heavy stopping power and penetration. This, I would recommend taking this. It has really big damage output as well. The damage for it, 71. Fire rate, no fire rate whatsoever. Mobility is 45, and the capacity for it is 7. So you do want to take your time, and well, not take your time, but you want to be wise on using your rounds or using your ammo with this weapon and all. So just be careful whenever you use this weapon. And for her first gadget, we have the frag grenade, which I'm glad she has her frag grenades. Again, it's a fragmentation grenade that explodes shortly after the pin is pulled. For the next gadget, we have the hard breach charge. This here is a deploy deployable charge capable of breaching a medium hole, inbreakable, and reinforced surfaces. You would want to use this on reinforced walls and all. Reinforced walls or uh, just reinforced hatches just to get in the objective and all but i would personally take this if you're trying to like get into the objective real quickly and destroy everybody in the back lines and all and for our final gadget we have the impact EMP, emp grenade this here deactivates nearby opponents electronic devices temporarily all right for the final one this here is the main unique ability this is the hell presence reduction this here is a counter intel that wipes their presence from observation tools so nook is basically vigil but on offense that, that's pretty much what it is because vigil can wipe himself from just uh, cameras or drones and all and he'll be just completely wiped off and all that's the same thing with nook nook can hide herself from cameras but i feel i think they nerfed it to where she can be seen in her cameras i'm not too sure i i think so i i might be wrong honestly i could be dead wrong but pretty cool i like this ability for nook and why i play with her a lot is just because of this that way people just don't see me and I can just get behind enemy lines and all and I can be stealthy with my little shotgun or my SMG. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so here I am playing with Nook and all. So what I would say if you're trying to play with Nook, well if you have someone on the cameras already and all, then yeah you can use this right then and there. And you can probably go into the spot that you want to go to to get inside or the drone inside. And as you see here, if I'm like playing and I'm trying to fight someone right here, they're like, say like down that hallway right there, then I will want to cut this off. That way that, that the enemy team doesn't spot me and I have a good chance. And I, or I see someone down here that's like waiting. I would just use this, my ability right there. And then I would just try to take them out. And yes, I am using the shotgun, but you get the picture. That's pretty much what I would do because it, she'll hide herself from the observation tool. Now, if she's like shooting, I think she will show a little bit of a uh, of an effect and all i i think she will but it's still okay because she'll still be stealth and all or she'll still be cloaked and all from the observation tool so it's still a win-win either way so you're still okay to use nook's ability it's not too bad to use and you want and you want to just use it to move into the objective and all and then maybe get plant or just plant here if you're clear and all just go ahead and plant and just watch that's pretty much what it is that's pretty much what i would do with nook and all is i would really just wait 
just see who's here no one's here and all if i need a drone i will drone get some information and if i need to just have my ability on so that they don't see me on the cameras then that's pretty much what i would do hi ladies and gentlemen welcome to fortress now i am playing with nick over here on fortress and all and right now i'm gonna tell y'all that this game here when looking back at it it was just crazy to be honest so right now i'm gonna be pushing up straight to the objective like just near the objective and all and a few of my teammates are gonna push up as well and i decided you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and drone because you always got a drone whenever you're playing this game you got you just gotta do it you got a drone that's how, how it is <laughs> but unfortunately um three of my teammates are dead yes three of them are dead and i was just confused like wait why why the hell are y'all going in there like what the heck stop it don't go in there bro oh, no don't don't all don't all of us don't be up at the door at once but i it was unfortunate we, we lost like three people already so it's just me and the ayana right now and we are just trying to like stay alive and try to win this game dude so i'm just peeking i'm just peeking right now before i go and pick up the diffuser and all because i don't want to just go up there pick it up and then get killed by a warden all like right then and there <laughs> so yeah you don't you don't want that happening but uh as i am just i'm just watching this angle i'm just watching because i feel like the warden's gonna push up out of nowhere i i just feel like it i feel like he's just gonna push up or he's just or he's just gonna stay back and be passive i i don't know which one okay i was just very very scared right here and i'm i'm just i'm just nervous i'm just very nervous because i really want to win this game and all but you know what I decided to just go ahead and get some more information and all because i wanted to see where the warden and the warden he was right there he was peeking he was waiting he's, he's waiting so me and him are just having a little staring contest just waiting a bit see who makes the first move the mano y mano move but i do pick up the diffuser and all and right as i pick up the diffuser and all i, I decided to just hold this angle and the warden just peeks out of nowhere dude and i kill him so he's dead and i was thinking maybe i could just rush in there and then defuse that's what i could probably do i was thinking that but i was like you know what it's too risky too risky maybe so i decided to get just some last bit of information before i just uh decided to make my move or my push in and i was like okay yeah there's some stuff right there so i gotta use my frag grenades to blow that stuff up which i do i just go ahead and use my frag grenade here and i just blow this up I mean, that's why those frag grenades come in handy. It's for stuff like that. And I go ahead and just push in a bit. And there's no one in the jet, in the objective as well. And I do get hit with the goo mine by one of Legion's goo mines and all. So, uh, with that out the way, it's a 1v1 now. So, it's me versus Legion. Now, I was a bit nervous here. I was very nervous. Because I don't want them peeking out of nowhere. So, I just go ahead and defuse right here. I just uh, I decided to just go ahead and defuse. It, this is a good strat for me, okay? So, I just go ahead defuse and i'm gonna hold this angle at that door because if legion was over there he's gonna probably push that way but in a minute that's not the case <laughs> so he well i'm just holding this angle this is a good angle to hold to be fairly honest and uh, my teammates were telling me no he's on he's on the uh, right side right side and i was like okay he's on the right side okay i'm gonna just hold it right here and he i have my drone out there too so yep he pushes in and i kill him easily all right ladies and gentlemen here we are on another map and we are bringing out nook again and for this one i'm gonna just tell y'all that there was a slick mirror right here bro so as you saw on the camera there is a mirror over there or well the, i'm gonna show you right here mirror's right here and she is trying to be cheeky with it and all bro like she's trying she is trying her best to get me and twitch out here <laughs> well she's she doesn't know but then there's goes a zombie a zombie's gadget is right there blocking the view as you see she goes ahead and blocks the view and i thought okay so mirror's back in the objective wrong she's sitting right there waiting for me or twitch to push up and i just shoot her a bit i was just laughing a bit bro because bro i, I killed her right here <laughs> like bro you are not slick okay mira right you sit down go, go sit down somewhere <laughs> but anyway uh this match was a bit weird to be honest i i'm, I'm not gonna lie it, it was very weird and um yeah this is what not to do with your frag okay always aim your frag grenade and um be accurate with it because of stuff like that it could happen and you could get killed from it but uh besides that uh we're just really trying to get into the objective and win this game and all and uh it's in kitchen and kitchen itself is a bit hard it's really hard to get inside because it's very it's very defense like a lot of like a lot of people in this game know how to defend in kitchen it's so crazy but uh, 
but a zombie's inside the objective and i was like okay whoa i don't have another drone wait where'd my drone go <laughs> but apparently i did have another drone i just never used it as you guys see right there i do have another drone available that i could use but i never use it i just don't know what was going on and right here i don't know what the hell was happening here bro but i was lagging for some reason I don't, I don't know like there was just a lot of lag right here bro i i, I don't know what that's about that, that was weird it, it was weird just seeing that <laughs> like i don't know if this was the lobby or something but there was someone that had 132 pings so that could have been the reason why I, there was a little bit of lag right there so i decided to go on this window here and all and just check to see who's over here because someone did get killed and i know that they have a solus and they also have a zombie now ace is gonna probably kill the azami in a little bit and all he'll kill the azami and solus i don't know where solus is right now solus i i have no clue where the solus is if the solus is in the objective but uh, my friend tells me that solus is in bomb a and all so okay so he's so solus is in bomb a so i'm gonna go ahead and push with ace or go and help ace out and defend since he's defusing so i go ahead push into bomb b and solus is right there and i kill her easily all right ladies and gentlemen so here we are on the cold yacht uh ghost ship is what i like to call it <laughs> but yeah we're on the yacht cold I, I don't know what the name of it is but you get the picture but i'm using the drone right now with nook and it, yes i'm playing nook again okay I mean, that's what the video is so i'm going in droning and i decided to just push in and all because why not it seems clear in the back and all and my team right now we're down by like one and all but we can pull this through and all and I decided to go back here, but my teammates were back here and all. So you know what? I'm going to just go the other way and just, well, play it this way. Just deceive the whole cameras in the hallways. And I'm going to just drone down there. And I'm going to see who I got. So they do have an alibi. And I thought somebody was here or up here, but no. I was mistaken they're all downstairs in the objective. So they do have an alibi and the mozzie drone does get my drone and all. So I don't have a drone for this part, unfortunately. So it's all good. And uh, yeah, someone, I think it was Doc that killed our, that killed our Jackal and someone killed Oryx. But I did get a kill on Alibi right there, as you saw. And right now I am gonna go ahead and push here and I'm gonna get Doc and Doc is dead. So now it's a 1v1 versus me and the Mozzie. Now I did cut off my uh, hell reduction or my hell and all and that kind it didn't cost me too much i mean yeah i was getting spotted it's just I, my cooldown for it for the duration of it was down and all and the ability for it the duration of the the ability was uh well it, it was going on pretty quickly so yeah i i i don't know i don't know what i could have done there honestly i mean all i could do was just shoot the cameras down and that was pretty much all i could do and that's what i did now i decided to just move back here because i'm gonna move into the back uh because i feel like mozzie is expecting me to push up uh that way so you know what i'm just gonna move back this way and i'm gonna just probably peek him get a good peek and i am in my uh my hell right now or my hell reduction and all that way you don't see me on the drone and right here i decided you know what i'm gonna peek him i'm gonna just wait and peek because i feel like he's gonna push up and i was correct he did push up and i got the w like that ladies and gentlemen Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so for my pros with Nook and all, is that Nook is a really good stealth operator, and she can wipe herself off of cameras and all, and she can be very stealthy, and she won't be seen on cameras, and, or drones, or to be exact, if Mozzie hacked the drones, or Bravo, it, well, no, not Bravo, if Mozzie hacked the drones, <laughs> but, but she'll basically will not be seen by any camera or anything, and that's what I like about her, and she also has really good weapons in her SMG and her shotgun, which again has been buffed, but I personally, I just take the SMG because it's my favorite, and I'll sometimes take the fire grenades too, but this is what I really would take, uh, just for me, and what I usually do, I don't do this as much too, I take the 1.5 because a 1.5 is meta, and I take the compensator too with her only, only her. Not the I would take the muzzle break sometimes, but I just take the compensator just just to have that re, that reduced horizontal movement while shooting. Now cons wise, the only thing that I would say is when you use her unique ability, you will be seen on the cameras a little bit, but not too much. If you're shooting somebody, that I think uh, you will be seen on the cameras a little bit because there's a little bit of a blur that people will see. So that's the only downside I would say that's with Nook. But overall, she's not that bad to be fairly honest.
I hope you guys again enjoyed today's guide and all. And if you did enjoy today's guide, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Frame of Six Siege content here on the channel. Also, if you want to be a member of the Rathapad community today, you can become a member by just joining for $3 a month and you'll be able to get replies from me and shoutouts and I will also give little sneak peeks of new videos that I will have coming up in the next week or so. So you get to see all of that guys and you'll get some pretty sweet badges. So join to become a Rathapad member today, baby. But again, hope you guys enjoyed the guide. Please give me your feedback in the comments down below if you did like it like it if you didn't like it you can always leave a dislike and you leave a little comment or a criticism comment on what i need to do better and as always i'm the game raptor stay wild stay fresh and i'll see you guys in the next video all right guys peace out